周囲に砲台があるぞ基地からの砲撃です近づくところじゃないぞこんなところにいたら全滅しちゃうコンボットフレーム前進して歩兵の盾となれ後天さん前進俺たちの盾になるぞシールドを構えて前進しろ砲台の攻撃を引きつけるぞデク攻撃してよ敵は対空砲火を続けている地上から接近するしかないエイリアンの基地に接近しろグッジョブだ現在世界の5箇所にエイリアンの基地が確認されていますいずれも上空から降下してきたようです、uh, End of Zoe was surprisingly good I was nervous going in that、uh, the controls weren't going to be great because you know first person fist fighting is really hit and miss But I ended up enjoying it a lot. I thought it was a good story. Like the characters,、um, there's a really funny aspect of it that the、uh, bad guy, the recurring nemesis style bad guy,、uh, exclusively uses pro wrestling style maneuvers. And he、uh, is constantly、uh, doing drop kicks and double axe handles. But yeah,、uh, it takes about an hour to beat the first time, hour and a half maybe. And、uh, there's all sorts of challenge stuff to give it a lot of replay. So I ended up really liking End of Zoe. Again, like I said, I wasn't sold on the idea right off, but it really won me over. So yeah, I had a good time. I might be playing this on too high a difficulty. Well, that's Apparently, if I beat、uh, all of the challenges in End of Zoe, I get、uh, a, a,、uh, a spirit blade, which sounds like I can you know, play the game with、uh, some kind of a magic sword, which sounds amazing. And B, and this is the one that might be worth unlocking, although it's going to be ridiculously difficult to do.、Uh, unlimited ammo. So, at the beginning of the game, even though it's a fist fighting themed game, You can just take your shotgun that you have at the end of the end and play the whole thing through with a shotgun.、Uh, which would be inordinately simple. And have me flashing back to a little game called.、Uh, oh God. Condemned to Bloodshot.
He hasn't been by any of the uh, shows recently, so I will tell him you're alive when I see him. So the the air raider has gone from the hardest thing to play the game as to maybe the best class. Who would have guessed? I don't agree with season passes either, but every single piece of extra content for Resident Evil 7 has been amazing. You're right that you absolutely shouldn't do that, but with Resident Evil 7, they were good. Like, the first two big chunks of DLC were out um, within a month and a half, right? They were out within like six weeks or eight weeks. So you didn't have to wait long to see if the season pass was worth it because the season pass, pass costs the same as buying those two on their own, and you had the promise of a full on story DLC later on which ended up being End of Zoe, which was amazing.
こそが広範囲に被害が広がる一気のからず撃墜しろ So you didn't like the design of them? あの基地がある限り地上は制圧されたも同然だ我々は王手をかけられている。The thing I liked about them was、uh, they were drawn quite explicitly from the re regenerator design from,、uh, from part four. And I loved the regenerator so much that I, was in I really liked the expansion on that. And I think the, the crawling lady ones were kind of close to the liquors. The Baker fights were really great. Yeah, it's great characters. The thing is, they're better than anything in Outlast. The Baker family? I like Outlast, but the Baker family is better than anything in Outlast. And,、uh, yeah, I like the molded more than you did, but.、Uh, You are right that they are very same throughout the whole game. It's true, there just wasn't the variety this time. 
There wasn't a huge number of monsters. I guess there was also um, giant insects, but that's pretty much it. There wasn't like uh, fish monsters and plant monsters and different flying monsters. It does not have the scope of most of the recent Resident Evil games, but then again, the focus is a lot of where I love it. エイリアンの砲兵を倒さねばならない。奴らがいる限り地上戦で勝利することはできない。敵の兵器は強力だが、長距離支援用だと思われる。懐に飛び込めば勝機はある。進め。こちら、D202。地上部隊の支援を再開する。他のチームは遅れている。だが待っている時間はない。敵砲兵に接近し、可能な限りの損害を与えろ。マルニー、ターゲットを確認した。チームに入れてもらうぜ。早く構成しましょ
Yeah, it'd be nice seeing uh, just original zombies again, especially if they keep it in first person and especially VR. Okay, but you're missing out. I cannot believe how good the weapons on the um, air raider are now that they just recharge instead of having to refuel everyone. It's it's a complete game changer. I love the air raider now. Whereas in 4.1, I would never play air raider unless I also had a. Uh... Look at this. Boom. Unless I was, you know, just using him to back up a. Uh... Ranger with tanks. That would be the only reason I would ever play it. Pretty cool as well. That would be fantastic. Just be there and plug in your brain matrix down and see the uh, thing again. Yeah, that'd be great, but VR is already amazing. Uh, I would absolutely recommend Earth Defense Force. The Earth Defense Force franchise is my second favorite video game franchise. I think it's this seven is the best one, but if you want to play uh, 4.1, it's also amazing. This is by far the best one. I don't know any Japanese. I am. Ah, uh, this is amazing. Sorry, we're watching Colbert at the same time. I have uh, no hesitation. I don't speak any Japanese, and I'm playing the hell out of this and love it. Do you have any questions you have about EDF? Ask me and I will answer whatever I can because I always encourage people to play the hell out of this thing.
And there's absolutely nothing like it. It, uh, I mean, I think I and certain other people have started referring to it as uh, epic action, uh, the genre, because it is uh, a genre that only has Earth Defense Force in it. No other game does, no other third person shooter does epic scale action, period. It's like, I, I'm not even saying that nobody does it as well as Earth Defense Force. Nobody else does what Earth Defense Force does, and it makes Earth Force unbelievably special. Look at this, look at the size of this map! And then I called it an airstrike on that size of the map. And calling in that airstrike is going to kill so many dudes that I'm going to get it to call in another airstrike. Here it comes. Oh my god, that was beautiful. Oh yeah, that is the, the one quote-unquote downside, is uh, the airstrikes are so huge that they will compromise the frame rate. It's not a problem for me, but some people don't like Mercenaries is nowhere near this scale. Mercenaries is huge, and you get to really destroy a lot of stuff in it, but it's not as big a game as Earth Defense Force. You're not walking or you're not having this kind of sight line doing this kind of damage over this big of an area. Also, they've stopped making Mercenaries games, which is crazy to me. Such a cool game. Such a huge potential with that franchise. And they never really developed it. LucasArts gave up on uh, non Star Wars games. And then they gave up on games. That's a real tragedy. I have bit off more than I can chew at this level. I thought I was going to be able to unlock a, uh, a mech fast enough to survive the second half of the level, but it just didn't happen. Oh well, I'll try it a second time and then I'll uh, play it on easier difficulty. Or just look for another level. I'm just exploring fun with the, uh, with the air raider at this point. You absolutely should. Um, 4.1 is one of my all-time favorite games. This one's better, obviously, because it's the new one, but 4.1 is fantastic. Yeah, enjoy it, and, uh, yeah, if you have any questions, you can always find me here playing more Earth Defense Force, the Earth Defense force game ever. Hmm. See how that works. Probably not, though. Let's start with range. Seriously, start with ranger, then go to wing diver, then play around. Here comes the Mac. Oh, absolutely. You're right that if uh, if there was a current generation Mercenaries, it would be the other game in the Epic Action series. That's 100%. You're right.
voiced by Peter Stormare, right? Am I remembering that correctly? I played as Han Solo. Then I bought the game again so I could play as Indiana Jones. Then they uh, didn't have awesome LucasArts downloadable characters for the second game, and I was really pissed off. I don't want to play as Barack Obama or Sarah Palin. Thanks. Went way better the second time, but I'm still not, uh, still not gonna win it. Yeah, the second one came out in 2008 during election season, so they're like, you can play as one person from each party, but no, people thought it was, either they thought it wouldn't be fun or they thought it would be hugely inappropriate to play as John McCain in a, uh, in a military action game, and I think it would have been hugely inappropriate, so they, uh, they made it Sarah Palin instead. Now to try dealing with this whole, uh, what do you call it situation? Where are the, uh, where are the Ravagers? Ah, oh, there they are. Ravagers! Let's try them out. By the way, what was it called? Is it a sky whale? What do they call the uh, air whale? The amazing uh, ship that flies overhead and fires 105 millimeter uh, rapid fire cannons. Couldn't remember what it was called. I would find that amazing, and uh, you might find that amazing. John McCain probably not so much. マザーシップの攻撃で航空機もヘリも近づけない。地上部隊が救援に向かう。諦めるな。ルカと剥がれた。捜索に向かう。あいつらは俺たちに気づいていない。不意を打てば倒せるぞ。今日も指示。それに見てください。エリアの傘、減っています。よし。やるぞ。ただし、慎重にな。ターゲットを撃ち抜いたぞ。我ながら言うでだ。
I'd love to play Mercenaries 2 again. That's too bad. These guys are not screwing around. Hey, do you think the original Xbox version of um, uh, Mercenaries works on the Xbox 360? <laughs> That not been heavily modded. Work on Windows 10 or just Windows 7?
こちら D いつまで隠れていればいいんだ105ミリ砲あいつらは俺たちに気づいていない不意を打てば倒せるぞそれに見てくださいエイリアンの傘減っていますまずい見つかるいい気分だよしよいぞただし慎重にな上空で指示を待つ同時に複数のエイリアンを相手にするのは危険だ一人ずつやるぞ私はエイリアンに占領された俺たちは建物に隠れて I think I'm just gonna go do brute force I love brute force 俺たちは建物に隠れて何とか無事だ今のところはこっちに来る静かに見つかったら終わりだぞマザーシップの攻撃で航空機もヘリも近づけない地上部隊が救援に向かう諦めるなこちらフェンサー2名生存誰かよこしてくれいつまで隠れていればいいんだ部分に撃ったバンクルはぐれたそうするか D202 より地上部隊攻撃目標を指示せよ D202 よりエアルあいつらは俺たちに気づいていない不意を見ても倒せるぞそれに見てくださいエイリアンの傘減っていますよしやるぞただし慎重になまずい見つかる私はエイリアに占領された俺たちは建物に隠れて何とか無事だ今のところはこっちに来る静かに見つかったら終わりだぞマザーシップの攻撃で航空機もヘリも近づけない地上部隊が救援に向かう諦めるなこちらフェンサー2名生存誰かよこしてくれ同時に複数のエイリアンを相手にするのは危険だ一人ずつやるぞ reasonable i am uh, i am much too lazy to do that kind of stuff i just play everything on steam except of course for manhunt 2 which can now not be legally bought anywhere
町を占領しているエイリアンの数が減っているようですどこかへ移動したのかもしれません備え何やクーポンするやつ That's so silly. Like, yeah, I need a, uh, I need a playable version of it, thanks. This is as far from piracy as you can get. I forgot to bring my airstrike. Trying a different airstrike this time. I found one that only shoots one, which seems kind of pointless because it's an incredibly narrow airstrike. Like, I'm sure it does a lot of damage, but I can't hit anything with it. I guess it's for the valley levels? Well, that looked boss, but it's, you know, obviously not going to be useful.
どれほど敵が押し寄せてこようとびくともしないわい<笑> How is the job hunt going? You see anything that you're excited about? Grocery stores union, because I know people who、uh, had very good grocery store jobs because they were all union jobs. Decent wages, decent contracts, the whole thing. For covering for bad workers, they'll make sure they're for making sure all workers get their fair share of the money. But it is good that you're not having trouble finding. Oh, 
将兵の攻撃が始まるぞ攻撃開始これだけの火力があればどれだけの敵が来ようが問題ないぜまだ射程外だ攻撃が来るぞシールド構えシールドがない歩兵はタイタンの後ろに隠れろ空爆開始それが何とかしてやるこちらへ装置最後の隠れエリアに進入するステーキにしてやるこちら爆撃総員攻撃せよレクイエム砲の火力を見せてやるぞここを突破されたら市街地は焼けのあるだそんなことはさせないここは我々が封鎖する目標上空に移動する Funny, I was wondering what it was going to take to crush the game's frame rate in classic EDF style, and it turns out the answer is airstrikes. Airstrikes crush the game's frame rate. Oh, that's beautiful. Of course they were. That's the downside of airstrikes. Sometimes it's a necessary evil. Most of the time it's a necessary awesomeness. God, I love the air whale though. Just as they drop, my airstrike should come in. Come on. My god, that was magnificent. Oh, danger close. Valuable lesson to learn. Her strikes are so fantastic in this game. And here comes the spaceships. Ugh, I hate the spaceships. At least it's not uh, 4.1's version of um, this. Where you got uh, you got spaceships and you've got a bunch of shield bearers protecting the spaceships. Oh, I hated that so much. Oh, 
奴ら大手をかけに来たかエイリアンは敵意へ向けて進軍中ですこちらフォボス再攻撃の準備に入る接近していますこちら爆撃機かドローンが来るぞちょっと守らないと目標上空に移動するクソレールガンの到着はまだか来たかエプシロン自走レールガン予定地点に到達急げ絶対に急げ急げ急げ急げ急げ急げ急げ急げ急げ急げ急げ急げ急げ急げ急Get here faster, mech suit. I can't die. I'm doing too well. He's got me. It's over. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, that was awesome. Alright, it's safe to say that this is just the best game. Oh my god, look at this! Field of Carnage. There's like 50 dead frogs on this field. Okay, they're disappearing quickly, but still. That was amazing. I'm not gonna get any of this stuff. I need a much faster vehicle for that, and a much faster vehicle will get me killed.
Nice. Hey, 15% completion rate. Woo! I just unlocked a new um, mech, I think. He's got four weapons, which seems to be missile launchers and, I guess, auto cannons, Or maybe just tank guns. We'll see. Armored personnel carrier. Nice. I uh, don't know what the G3 is. Alpha sounds nice. A2, this all means nothing to me. And a G. Puns, the last refuge of the scoundrel. Alright, let's try out the new mech. Although, it actually costs exactly the same as the old mech and has a lot more health. So yeah, let's try out the new mech. Maybe I'll do the city fight? I don't think I'll break out the depth crawler and uh, do a down an underground level. I almost said downstairs. Yikes. Ah, there it is. Iron Wall action. フェンサーとタンクで敵の前進を阻止する。タンク、戦闘準備。タイガー、了解。この壁を抜けられるものか。この壁を抜けられるものか。I like the look of this thing. <laughs> it's slow as dirt.
リアが突破されれば防衛線が崩壊する踏みとどまれ next up so I can buy them a little cheaper because they might help me get through those horrible uh, ravager levels.
Okay, this mech is solid. And then some. I'm not saying this is definitely the best Mac, but it might be the best one I've seen so far. Not that I'm complaining about all the guys with flamethrower arms, but you know, come on. What I'm really looking for is a high level uh, depth crawler. Yeah, but as you can see, it can't jump very uh, high or far. But what I really want is a depth crawler that's a decent level, so I can uh, get into the underground levels. I think my depth crawler best one is level 20. And I don't know if this is a glitch or a way they've decided to do it, but for some reason, uh, a hard difficulty level played with the Air Raider doesn't net you, it let nets you the same stuff you get on easy and normal. So you're getting like level 7 max and stuff. It's weird. shot. That mech is fantastic. with every missile. Although I was like 200 meters away. So. Well earned. 
我々は史上最大の経済的後退を覚悟しなければならないでしょう雇用は減少失業者が溢れています政府は事態の打開を約束しているのでの戦争の先が見えない以上対策が難しいのが現実です So I'm going to be getting that vibe soon, and I'm trying to think the uh, the VR missions for L.A. Noir. Yes or no? Worth getting? I mean, I didn't much like uh, L.A. Noir, but it's like a really interesting idea. I have to check what this mech is called so I can check if I upgrade him when I uh, finish. Okay, I can't read any of that. <laughs> Let's murder this guy and get out of here. I think he was the guy on top of the building and I blew up the building while he was standing on it, which is awesome. Hey, how do you think this mech would do against the Space God? Probably not good, right? Space God's super fast and super slow. Oh my god, I think it might have just leveled up. So, oh, it's a different one. But it is a Mac my flamethrower mech, isn't it? Yeah, it's my flamethrower mech. But hey, flamethrower mech just got a lot cheaper. Like three grand off, I'll be... That... That spider level. Ooh. This is really confusing. So there's level 1 depth crawler, 11, 19, 46, and then next up is something, oh sorry. So there's level 46 depth crawler, which is what I'm absolutely going to try now, because look at the one I was using. It's like three times as much health, costs less, and uh three times as powerful. So, yeah, obviously I'm going to use it. Here's my point. So that's that, That's the depth crawler. Look at this next one. 32,000 points. Then, what the hell does that mean? Like, I have to find out what this is, right? So I'm just going to use this depth crawler once, then we're going to try that out. Uh, obviously I can't use any of that underground, so I'll just switch over to uh, emplaced guns. See how I'm doing emplaced gun-wise. FZ Gun MD? That sounds... Actually, I don't know what the hell that is. 1600, 12 damage. Oh, I think it's another machine gun. Maybe. 
Where do you think the healing canister is? Is that the healing canister or is that the defense canister? So that's defense. Which would make this heal? No, the white's gotta be healing, right? What the hell is that? 10,800. What are these weird weapons? I can't wait till I can get this in English. Anyway, uh, I'm going to assume this is here. And if it isn't, well, we'll find out the hard way. Yeah. I don't have any green canisters. Wing Diver Energy, right. I don't have any green canisters, so I guess I haven't unlocked any health yet. What does red do? Alright. Well, that does sound awesome. I don't know if I'm going to can't believe I haven't locked a, unlocked a single health thing yet. Weird. Wasn't that fun? Anytime you want to start shooting that spider. High-level depth crawler, let's do this. Yeah. 
As you can see, the best part is it costs almost nothing to reload. Oh crap, I just set myself on fire. Those things can shoot for a while. Huh? Can I shoot them? Or... Oh wait, I can turn them off manually. <laughs> Isn't it great? A uh, level 50 depth crawler. I didn't use it well, but it's awesome. I kept uh, jumping to the ceiling and then accidentally dropping out of my uh, mech so it would be stuck on the ceiling and I couldn't get back to it. Be right back.
Okay, the flamethrowers accidentally cooked all of my own men. That was not ideal. ことから特別な分類が必要と判断しエルゲニスと命名しました現在対策を検討中です Survive that. Way to go, depth crawler. Hey, let's see what the limit for uh, mechs is. I've got two on the go. I'm quickly uh, power up a third. And uh, see if we can get, because I know we can get three. Let's see if we can get four on the go. Fighting my time until I get the exact two guns. Oh, wow, there's already two next time to go. Oh, 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 
Okay, if I call, recall correctly, there's going to be a frog down there and a bunch of bad guys, and then a tunnel full of bad guys. And the second I clear out the tunnel, more guys spawn here. So the plan is kill the guys with the mech, swap out mech, plant a bunch of guns in the hall, and clear out the tunnel, and activate the guns to get the guys to come up behind us. Hopefully that theory plan thing works. This is about the frog dudes. They take a hell of a lot of hits from rockets. Alright, now I'm just gonna swap this bad boy out. Super wobbly, but I really do like the animation of the Death Crawler. Oh damn, they're catching up. I thought they wouldn't activate until I had uh, gone down. But I was wrong. That, uh, that plan fell apart immediately. So, yeah. Oh, yeah! 
Damn, but those frogs take a beating, don't they? I don't know if this depth crawler is quite good enough, but I feel like I'm borderline to a point where I could take a cave on Inferno. And once you can do that, you can get all of the, uh, you can do all of the, uh, farming you want. The game was so long it pushed the uh, upgrade you know, off to the side of the box. I wonder what this 150 is. I just have to try it out. Switch out the depth crawler for a uh, uh, battle mech. Oof, that just got upgraded. We're definitely finding out what that is. Not this second, but next second. That multi-grenade launcher that the next shoots out does 6,000 points of damage. I'm suddenly extremely happy. Just trying to find the uh, first pill bug level. Ah, here we go, 62. I feel like uh, this mech might have a shot against him. Good night, Shaggy. Uh, have a good night. I will, uh, if I see Adler tomorrow, I will tell him you're still alive and kicking. Pillbogs, whatever are we going to do? Wink.
Oh my god, the new uh, item I got is a sniper. One, uh, you shoot it at him, and a single uh, well played. That thing from Captain America style uh, sniper shot with some perfect accuracy. That's fantastic. I don't know if you want to do that. It's perfect. Got that went inside my back. Felt really good right up until we were hit by a completely overrun by a flood of pill bugs, which is what's about. Oh well, face are also Come on, Zara down. Give me one more solid. And just have to throw enough to get me the map, and then I'll take it from there.
Oh, I got out to some of the main map. Oh, that level went okay. I'm gonna put that at the second one. On Inferno, or on the hardest, you only get to take a quarter of your users' uh, rookies, and so then you can get four weapons and get to see any of them. Maybe I should have brought my like you know, some kind of a giant level of Oh, it's me. My sniper shells can blow up though. That's pretty awesome. Oh, it's me. My sniper shells can blow up though. That's pretty awesome. The E-20 is a 15-cent move. Shit. Yeah. Oh, Charging for me, do my finish back. You know this guy can't sprint? Quite enough.
I'm just gonna take a quick look around and make sure there's any more weapons and we'll wrap this up. I'll pick a level on easy. Well, not level, I'll pick through four some easy. We'll find out what that special uh, item in the depth of power category is and why it costs 12,000. Level 60 something weapons. I can't read any of that, of course, but I'm excited to find out what it all is. Alright, the takeaway is that none of it is a new vehicle, which, so who cares? Although there was a new um, armor upgrade for my soldiers, so that's neat. Twenty-one thousand points this thing does. So I'm just gonna get my artillery going. I got my zero guns, and then we'll. Uh, I, mean, I don't plan on winning. Uh, of course, I just want to see what it is before I sign off for the night. We also have a new uh, airstrip. Let's try that out while we're there. Seriously, I should just try to memorize where brute force is. It's 38.
だけの火力があればどれだけの敵が来ようが問題ないぜオーバーよりエアレイダーオーマイガーッツバーパンチャンスワークムサークムロバー It's the thing you use to punch a n g r i e s So you can bring it in on one of the early a n g r i e s levels Instead of having to wait around and like just Take out little bits of damage here and there, you can just call in your uh, lock and suck and robot. It's completely useless against anything but a n g r i e s of course, but still, it's so good. Let's, let's see if you oh my god, they don't drop it in the crate, they do the whole thing with the four cover ships. Oh, that's fantastic. Can't wait until I get one of these uh, giant multi person maps. Uh, it has cannons in it. That was the last one from the previous game. That would be great for the next few years. <laughs> we found out what the giant, far too expensive summon was. It was Goldorak here. Uh, which I think makes this a perfect time to wrap up this video. I've been Hidden on Jake too. I'd like to thank you for coming along on this journey with me. Uh, if uh, you'd like to see more, there's really a whole channel worth of videos. I'm going to be uh, 
all of my various PDF screens are published there, so they're archived there along with plenty of other content. I did a genocide project where I tried to use every level in uh, Earth Defense Force 2017 PD with only a genocide gun. You'd be, you might be surprised by how few levels can be beaten only with a genocide gun. Although that's just because uh, transport ships and the mothership are immune to the genocide gun. Only like one or two were just because I needed a machine gun to help. Long story short, join me back here for more EDF uh, as I stream this frequently. Most days, really. And uh, there's plenty of other stuff to see in the channel. Comments going the box for the video. I'll see you back here for more. But until then, au revoir. My god, he's been completely surrounded. And I punched them. What? Oh, that's fantastic. Oh my god! I love this guy. I wish he was more useful because I only want. Oh, wait, I'm going to do the skin punch. The skin punch? Spin punch, do it, do it, do it. Okay, I thought that would hit all of the ones around you. Didn't at all. Alright, I'm off.